Greetings and salutations to you one and all. It is I, the Ravenous Spector. Anyways, this is just a little video that I want to put up uh, regarding first-person shooters. Um, here's the thing. I do like first-person shooters. I do own some first-person shooters. Uh, the thing about me with the FPS genre is that it has to be really creative. It has to be really, uh, I guess, thought-provoking and... Uh, and, and deep in a sense, like with its, its gameplay mechanics and uh, story. Ah, oh, fuck it. What am I saying? <laughs> this has nothing to do with those things really don't have anything to do with first-person shooters. Technically, they do. There are some first-person shooters that do have some deep stories. But overall, you know, it's all about bang, bang, shoot them up for the most part. Um, at least from the ones that I played. Uh, there are some, say, for example, Dishonored. That's not really a first-person shooter, per se. Granted, yeah, you do have a gun, but you're mainly kind of stealthing around. Or you can just go in, balls out, you know, guns blazing, or gun blazing, I guess I should say, and dagger stabbing kind of thing. Which, by the way, Dishonored is one of my favorite first-person games, and I'm so excited for the sequel that's coming out this year. Uh, supposedly, that's what I've been hearing in 2016, it's supposed to be releasing. Um, but, um... The main thing that I really want to focus on here, sorry I had a brain fart, I was trying to get my thoughts together, you know, because I'm, uh, it's late at night, it's like uh, almost 1 o'clock in the morning here, and it's like 12.55 a.m., um, but uh, the thing I want to discuss is uh, brown and gray first-person shooters. I can't stand these. I can't. The good thing is, from what I've been seeing lately, developers have seen it like they've been putting out... Um, more maybe trying to add some more color in first person shooters or trying to make them more colorful i guess you should you should you could say but say for example the almighty call of duty series there was so much brown and gray in that series from the ones that i played that it just really really turned me off the color palette it looked like somebody just shit and barfed all over the screen and it made me where i didn't even want to play them there's probably honestly Maybe one or two Call of Duty games that I completed. Only the campaigns. I don't bother with that multiplayer shit. I don't want to bother with some 12-year-old uh, trying to talk about how he's going to end up, you know, screwing my mother or screwing a member of my family or how much I suck or I'm going to go and burn in hell and all this other stuff. And he's a little squeaker out there online trying to act like he's the hot shit, you know, and I'm just so... I can't deal with that. I'm, <laughs> I technically deal with that some when I was playing Uncharted 2 online with multiplayer, hearing the bullshit that people had to say, you know, about how I play or how they play and all this and that. I just mute them or I get out of it or whatever. I'm not a fan of that multiplayer thing. If it comes to me with multiplayer, it's it's got to be role-playing games. Whether it's uh, massively multiplayer online role-playing games, like, say, Star Wars The Old Republic, or whether it has to deal with uh, any other role-playing games like, say, Diablo 3, like with Couch Co-op or playing together online, or Divinity Original Sin, um, Couch Co-op, or online, you know, and any, anything like that, because you're really trying to, to uh, work together, and you're having a lot of fun that way, and you're not going against each other, and you're not cussing each other out, and you're not pissing, moaning, and shitting, and complaining, and getting your panties and penis in a bunch all the time. Or, you know, you're clitting a bunch if you're a chick, I'm just saying. Uh, it's just the fact that I can't stand that multiplayer thing when it comes to first-person shooters. I can't. It just, it, it's not my thing. I'm not into that whole Twitch shooter multiplayer. It, it, it gets dull and boring to me. Trust me, I've tried it. I have. I've, I'm, I'm not a hater or anything like that. Like in one of my videos, if you see where I'm talking about fanboys need to just go and just burn in hell because I'm fanboys and fangirls because I'm so sick and tired of 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 con of a of a console fanboys and fangirls and PC fanboys and fangirls. I'm just sick of it. I'm tired of it. You know, you can't you can't just shut the fuck up and just and just you know be together with one another and just have fun with being in the most biggest uh, medium in the world when it comes to gaming. You have to bitch moan and complain like a bunch of children. Anyways, that's on another video altogether. I don't deal with that drama and I won't. I'll just cut people out dealing with that shit. Anyways, back on topic here. Um, the thing is, is that when it boils down to those specific gray uh, first person shooters like with the Call of Duty series, like I'm saying, personal experience here, not trying to do the series as a whole here, so don't, you know, get all wonky and out of proportion and shit all over the place thinking that I'm talking about the entire series. Um, but, for example, 
the most recent Call of Duty game I got, I got was Call of Duty Ghosts for like eight bucks. And then I got uh, Call of Duty World at War for like six bucks. I'm like, okay, you know, these are extremely cheap. I only play them for the campaigns because I love the over the over the top Hollywood bombastic, you know, huge bang bang shoot 'em up, loud explosion type of moments. I always love those. But it seems like those are kind of few and far between. And it was pretty much the same crap that I was going through all the time. The the missions are all cut up apart. They don't the story really doesn't make any sense. It's like, oh you're in this mission in the jungle. Oh, you're in this mission in the snow. Oh, you're in this mission in the city. There's this really bare, thin line story that's connecting these things and these missions together. To, but it's not really connecting to me. It's all taken apart or segmented or whatever, and it just, I, I can't stand it. it. It doesn't really have really any real cohesive flow to me. Nothing that really drags me in and pulls me in. It is aggravating. It's extremely aggravating. And uh, so I'm just kind of sitting there and playing, and I'm like, well... You know, maybe I could just get some easy trophies out of this, and I'm playing along, you know, and I'm shooting guys and going here and there, and I'm like, this is just grating on me. It is. It was just totally pulling me out of the experience. Um, I really try to have hope in the Call of Duty series to kind of pull me in with just the campaigns, but there's no, right now, there's no effort going into them. So I'm not bothering with the Call of Duty series anymore, when it, even when it comes to the campaigns. I don't care how cheap it is. I'm not bothering with them anymore, you know, I'm going to get rid of the games, whatever, because another thing is they're still brown and gray, and there's not enough color, it, it doesn't really appease, uh, doesn't appease to me, and I, I, I just, it's not pleasant to look at, the gameplay is stale, and all the same, and all that, sorry, this kind of got a little bit on around the Call of Duty series, but that has been one of the series that has been brown and gray, brown and gray, but then again, the Battlefield series has been the exact same way. And then again, you can also look at, like, Medal of Honor Warfighter. That was actually one of the free PlayStation Plus games, like, oh, I don't know, a month or two ago, a couple months ago, whatever it was. I downloaded it. I tried it out. I got through, like, the tutorial section. I freaking hate tutorial sections. And I was just like, I got into the first mission, and I was playing it on very easy, because that's how I do when I play through, uh, through games. It doesn't matter what the game is. I'm going to enjoy it, regardless of difficulty. And I'm just playing through it, and, you know, it's... It, I end up dying, and I'm, I just don't have any motivation. I don't have any motivation to go take cover or hide or nothing or shoot or nothing like that. I just gave up on it. I said the hell with it. I said I'm not bothering with it, so I deleted off my PS3 and just synced whatever little trophies I got from it, which I think was like a couple. I don't know, whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm just checking my game screen over here. I'm playing uh, House of the Dead Overkill on PS3, which, by the way, if you don't have that, that is an awesome light gun game. If you can get it really cheap... Regardless of whether you play it by yourself or regardless of whether you play it with other people, it's still awesome time. It's over the top, it's bombastic, it's insane, it's bloody, it's crazy, it's nuts. And you have unlimited uh, continues as well, so you don't have to worry about dying. Because you know how it is with arcade light gun games. They only give you like three credits and you probably share them between you and another player. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's not my deal. <laughs> it's just... That's, that's just aggravating. That's a whole another game, especially in and of itself, is dealing with the Time Crisis uh, series. Like, the Time Crisis, um, uh, the, the, I guess it's like the last one that was released. It was like a Namco collection of like three, of like Time Crisis, uh, Raising Storm, and Crime, Time Crisis 3 or 4, and uh, something called Pirate Storm, which was, Pirate Storm was a hell of a lot more fun, but still the whole continues thing was all out of whack because I didn't have anybody at that time to play with because I wasn't around anyone I was just playing it late at night and I was like oh let me give this a shot so anyways but um yeah but the thing uh the one of the things first person shooters as a matter of fact that I'm really interested in is dealing with uh um doom as a matter of fact that's supposed to be coming out this year that one looks like it'll be a hell of a lot of fun that one looks like it has a really active color palette to me and it seems like it's going to be totally bloody as hell and nasty and crazy and just like you're playing in the in in the inside of like a heavy metal album or something like that which i'm a big heavy metal fan if you look and see exactly what this page is about then you would know that um or see you know what the about thing is on there um but anyways uh well that is kind of a long video isn't it almost 10 minutes <laughs> Sorry, I apologize for that. I kind of went off on a rant. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll rant off on something else or rant off on this or that, but I'll have like one specific thing that I'm talking about. And that's basically the fact that, you know, if first-person shooters aren't going to go beyond the whole brown and grays kind of thing, 
really it doesn't matter how good the game is the visual appeal to it just isn't going to grab me so if you guys happen to have any thoughts on that be sure to leave comments below make, make sure to like and favorite and subscribe and all this other stuff and share the videos and this that and the other and welcome to the the world of the ravenous specter i guess you could say <laughs> It's a bunch of randomness, it's a bunch of craziness, it's about gaming, it's about this, it's about that, it's about wrestling, it's about metal, it's about whatever. It doesn't matter, my channel, I'm just going to put whatever the freaking crazy ass hell up that I want to put up. So, if you guys come along for the ride, I hope you enjoy, and this, that, and the other, and later taters. Adios. How do you turn this fucking thing off? Oh wait, there you go.